Hey guys, I'm Ray. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, check out what I just installed on my Ford F-350 Super Duty Tremor. A bug and rock deflector. Guys, thank you for joining me. Consider like, subscribe. Stay with me, I'll show you how I got it done. And let's go. All right guys, as you can see, I'm, I already took it out of the box, all right? It's gonna come in this big long box here and it's gonna pretty much come pretty wrapped. All right guys, also I wanna show you also, all your hardware should be in a plastic bag and attached to it. So when you open it up, make sure you have it and your directions also will come in in this part here. So let me just, uh, just wanna bring that to your attention and get this unwrapped. All right guys, I just wanna spread out to see the things that you get with your, with your kit. Got two foam, I don't know, I guess foam, whatever they call these things. Got two brackets, got these two little connectors, four of these, and one, two, three, four, five, six screws, and also some rubber stops. All right, so that's all that's going to come with it, along again with the protector itself. So I'm gonna go over here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up the camera. I'm gonna see if I can get get some detailed shots as I install this, guys. All right, so bear with me. And let's just keep it moving. First step, of course, they tell you to clean it, your area, which I did. Now, I recommend you guys, you're working on this, to get you some type of step stool because this hood is pretty high up. All right, so I'll put a link below on the type of step stool I'm using. You're gonna have to get up high on this thing. And I'm hoping as I shoot this, guys, I'm not blocking. I'll try to adjust the camera as best as I can to try to give you guys as much information as possible. Again, I'm just gonna clean it off a bit here with a microfiber cloth, and that should be good. Now, guys, when you're doing this thing, now they tell you do not remove this rubber piece. This has to stay, all right? The direction is gonna show what you need to install for clarity, but this rubber piece has to stay on. All right, so do not remove this. Step three tells me uh, we're gonna have to take two of these pieces here. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with C. And I'll try to give you a, a quicker look what C is. All right, it's gonna be this little piece here. And what we're gonna do is take C, and we're gonna have three holes, as you can see here. One, two, three. And another one here. One, two, three. All right, so we're gonna take C and we're gonna put it in the middle hole, which is this one right here. Now, when you look at your truck, you're gonna have some, a piece of plastic already covering it. So you're gonna have to remove that or cut through it or some other. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna get a little razor blade and just uh, make a, a split so I can slip that right in. All right, I'm not gonna try to move that plastic. I'm gonna leave it there. Let me get a quick razor blade and put this up. Okay, right there. Guys, all I'm doing is just taking a little, making a little slit in it. There you go. And you're gonna push this part here, see right into it. There you go. Okay. All right. So that's your C part, part C, I guess, or C part of two of them. All right. And next, you're gonna take you have forties metal clamps, and they're gonna be going underneath the rubber gasket. And I just wanna show you what those are. It's, it's these here. All right, and they're gonna go right underneath that rubber gasket right up here, all right? But you're not gonna remove that rubber gasket, all right? And the direction is gonna tell you there's, if I can show this to you guys, and I'll do a little screenshot. You can say there's four openings that these four pieces are gonna slip into. So, 
when you peel it back, you'll, you'll see it, it'll reveal itself. And you're gonna squeeze this into it. So it's one there. I should have two more here. Here's one here and one here. I see it. All right, guys, it's right here. As you pull it back, you'll see it. So I'm gonna slip that in there. All right, and it snaps in. All right. Right next here, another one. Ah, that's not thin. You hear a snap once you push it in. And one more. Okay, that's it. And I just gotta go back and push this one in because it didn't go all, all the way in. There you go, snapped in. All right, guys, you can force that in. And what I'll do, guys, I'll give it a little, let me get you a quick, closer look at it right quick, all right? Okay, guys, there it. And I'm just gonna show it to you much right there and there. And there, one, two, three, four, okay? And again, the gasket stays in place. Okay guys, so that was step three. So step four is stating that you should have some type of film to wrap my box. I don't have any film, all right? I'll show you step four guys, it's a screenshot right here I'll show it to you film say you supposed to have some type of film that you should wrap I'm not gonna worry about that for me because I already have pink protection film on my on my truck so I'm gonna bypass that so if you're looking for that film make sure you apply that so I wasn't gonna apply it to my truck anyway so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna move on to step five and step five you're gonna have to bring now the bug deflector and install it and they say you're gonna finger tight it first. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. And make sure you guys have a T20 screw, because that's what these screws are, all right? These are T20s, and you're gonna need something like this, all right? And being that this is plastic, I would highly suggest do not use power tools. And I love my power tools, but I'm not gonna use it for this installation right now. So let me, uh, let me get my screwdriver apart so I can get this installed. Okay guys, so now we're gonna take this up. And we're just gonna take the plastic and come around. And now these plastic will line up with those metal clips that you installed. And all you're gonna do is gonna finger tight, finger tight, tighten. Yeah, finger tight, uh, this. So right now I'm just gonna peel this back just ever so slightly to try to get it all lined up first. Just start it off slowly just to get it started, guys. All right. Let's start in the middle just to get it started. plastic around it. Right. Ah, shoot. All right, as you can see, I didn't get this under, so I'm gonna have to redo this one. And again, be careful with these things. These things are plastic, and you don't want to over tighten it and end up cracking it. It'd be out of 100 and whatever I freaking paid for this thing. Alright guys, it's gonna you just gotta play with this to try to get this lined up behind your gasket. So it's it's not gonna be easy, but it's durable. Yeah, alright, there you go. Okay. Alright, I hope you see that. You guys just gonna maneuver everything first, try to get everything behind the gasket before you try to put the screws in. All right, once you got the screws in, I mean, behind the rubber gasket, 
then attempt to put your screws in. If you want to undo, you can hand tighten it before you do anything, all right? But don't ratchet down just yet until you get all the screws in. All right. So I got it in. All right, they're not tightened down. I'm not going to tighten it just yet. All right, guys, I just want to give you a closer look what I'm doing here. As you can see, it's right there. Got another one tightened up right there. And so on, all right? All right, so just, I didn't tighten any of this up. I just wanted to get it started. Now we have to do to the, the two ends here and right there. Focus, little boy. There you go. All right. So now that's where these two clips are going to come into play. This clip here, you have two of them, along with two T20 um, screws. All right, guys. Now, to put these in, there's a little slit that's on the reflector, and this part here has to clip in. Just gonna push it in. I'm gonna tell you the truth, maybe should have put it in before I even put this up here, but it didn't tell me to do that. Or maybe because it didn't want you to scratch your, your finish. That's it guys, you just gotta push it in, okay? And that'll line up with this screw here, or that opening. Now, if you didn't have a paint protection film on your, your truck, that's where that plastic film will wrap around here, where this metal piece um, comes in contact. But I do have a paint protection film, so that's why I bypassed that, that section. And just to let you know, when you slip it in, you got these little teeths here that you're gonna push up into the deflector, all right, and it'll clip in. Okay, that's it guys, you got one, two, three, four, five, six points of contact with the system. Now, let's see what else they tell us to do. All right guys, now, they also say you're gonna to have to torque these down to 28 foot-pounds. All right, so I'm gonna have to find my torque wrench so I can get that done. So right now I'm just gonna screw it down a little bit here. And they say turn this until it can't turn anymore. It's not rotating. And I just gotta get my torque wrench. But let's take a look at it. What do you guys think? All right, is something you might consider putting on in your truck, all right? I think it looks pretty good on my truck, all right? And again, being that, uh, especially if you're going long distance and stuff, I like this thing, all right? It really keeps the dirt off or the rocks from hitting your, your front end, and plus it does look good. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna just continue on. I'm gonna get these pieces installed, and then once that's all done, then I'll come back and show you the final reveal. All right, guys, just gonna give you a little tip what I'm doing, all right? Necessarily, probably won't do it the way I'm doing it, but being again, I have paint protection film on my truck already, so I'm not putting these tapes on top of my paint protection. But what I am doing, I'm flipping it around, as you can see, how I got it in the middle there to rest against the hood so that's how i'm applying it all right guys and also make sure you have a bottle of alcohol all right because you need to clean this thing real good before you put this on to make sure you got a good adhesion adhesion all right so i'm down to my last one all right guys you're gonna have one here one one above the s you can have one right here on the r on the stem right above here the y is gonna go right in the middle and you're gonna have another one right here in the middle here. All right, so that'll be your five points. 
So I'm, I'm just going to take a little alcohol. And you probably want to do this before you put this up. I didn't realize that, but it is what it is. It's, it's kind of tight fit, but got that all cleaned out. All right, and now the last one. And what I'm doing, I'm just taking it, putting it my, between my two fingers. I'm peeling this back and I'm just put it into place. And once it's there, try to get it close to it. There you go. All right, got it. There you go. And then press against to get it on there. And that's it, guys. All right, so it gives that little reveal off of it. Oops. And that's it, guys. It's in. That's a how to install the bug guard, rock guard for the Super Duty Fort Tremor. I hope you guys appreciate this video. Please consider like, subscribe. If you guys considering picking this up, all right, there will be a link below. That link will be affiliate. So please click that link, pick that up, use that link. All right, it does support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And please, guys, like, subscribe to the channel. It does help me grow this platform. All right, so that's it, guys. Any questions, any comments? Any concerns, please hit me off in the comments. I'll get back to you. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm Ray. Thank you for joining me, and I'll check you out on the next one. Later.